Hello everyone, welcome back to Trek Yards. He's Commander Cocking. He is Catafoli! Yes. So in Discovery Episode 4, uh, we learn that we now know where the Federation is. Starfleet. Both. Either. And as the next time on, they did show us some things. And as a trailer, you watch it, you kind of absorb it, but we at Trek Yards like going frame by frame, picking out those best frames, presenting them in graphs, and we got actually a ton of new uniform content. Now this is a first look. But they gave a lot of new things, and we did this for Picard a couple of times, and I'm pretty excited. Uh, and Stuart, here is the here is a collage. We see three new uniforms. We see an animal's uniform in the middle, uh, his attaché or something rather in the right, and then I would say a security uniform on the left. All in this trailer, that on, on the left is kind of hidden. You wouldn't necessarily notice it, but three distinctly different uniforms. What do you think, and did you notice them all? Uh, I did notice them all, except oh, I did notice the one with the stripe. I really like that one. Um, on the right there. A, a good evolution as far as Starfleet uniforms go. I, I don't really like the spandexy one on the left. It, there, it's very similar to Discoveries, which don't look good on everybody, honestly. Um, they look really good, really sharp on some people. Other people, they shouldn't, you know, I don't think they should. It doesn't look I, the I, best I think what I'm saying is if you're people. thin, lean, and strong looking, the uniform is crisp. If yes. you're not like a military personnel body shape like me i would not look good in a discovery uniform Hard. but i was i was surprised this many and in fact this this kurtzman era we've got a lot of new uniforms a lot of new uniforms um all throughout um the animals obviously got the most treatment but they're all very different actually now the admiral is always a sidestep in terms of uniform design so the, he's the one we can kind of look less at in terms of the so i want to know what is the default standard uniform the one on the right is very odd. And, like, it stands out. And then the one on the left is, again, very different. doesn't stand out. And we'll, we'll look at some comparison renders, pictures. But I think the one on the left, to me, feels more like the relativity one. Like, a dr more evolution from that. Jumpsuit. Harsh colour. Uh, and even got kind of the, 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 the belt of TMP. That one looks to me... I hope that's the standard uniform. Obviously, in more colours, because I think if there was a red version, an orange one, I think that would be a solid uniform. And hopefully these other two ones, the more grey ones, are more the official people. I would like to see that being the, the way around, personally. That's just personal preference. What, what do you think? No, I agree. I think that the uh, the standard one being that one. And I do see the ties to relativity, um, the, the, the top part, just the way... Something about it. it yeah, it's just, it's visually, it's like... Okay, yes, I can see it. And then you, once you start analyzing it a little more, it's like, ah, it's, it's quite different, but, you know, it's it's that initial... I, I, can see a, I can see a line. It's not a direct line, because that, that uniform was 29th century. Now, uniforms in TNG shifted three times in 20 years, but Wrath of Khan uniforms are the same, with some minor taking things away, it was the same for about 80 years. So there are pre there is precedent for uniforms staying and changing as we go. But I think, I think Stuart, I'll give them all a pass. At my first reaction, like, I think the middle one, the Admirals, is, is, I like it as a general military uniform. I think it definitely feels like an, a Discovery-esque uniform where we're not going to highlight the colour as much. I do like the design of the trim. If you put that in a room with ten other uniforms from other sci-fis, I probably would have not said that was Star Trek. Because there's, there's too much other. You know what I mean? Like, and I, is that guy from, the, I think that guy's from The Expanse. Like, I recognise this actor. I can't place him. But it feels like to be an Expanse uniform. He's... He's from the Mummy. Oh, yeah. Yes, love him. Okay, great. He's good in that. Um, but do you know what I mean? Like they, they feel like more like a like if Wrath of Khan was grey. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bright colour is what gives it that extra Star Trekiness. So it kind of feels like a very much more. Whereas the the, the left hand one has something with it. It needs to be in red, gold, and blue, and that's black military. You know, marine. I can see that being that division. I, I can't see us getting the left uniform in different colors. If anything, it'll be trim only. I don't think they're going to go um, with the... I would love to see it, like the, the upper part be red or, or maroon or whatever. I'm really going to cross those fingers. Yeah, keep crossing them. Break them if you want to, but you're not going to get it, I don't think. That being said, I'd, you called that there would be a Picard uniform in episode four, and I said they definitely wouldn't do that. So what do I know? Right, because <laughs> so. I I think from a purely design point of view, having the trim be on the admirals be the primary color and not the gold, you can see that logic. If the one on the right is actually his medical officer, 
the white of discovery it was never white any other time but I can see that link and hey white medical future fine and then the other one is is a military they're in the shuttle bay military scene I can see that link and also it feels more like a day uniform like a, like a work uniform because most stuff uniforms are jumpsuits almost all of them it, it's 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 rare when they go to a two-piece whereas the other whereas animals are always two-piece etc now yeah. interestingly enough the one on the right the, the one with the white stripe I, I know it's a reflection but it looks like there's a stripe going underneath the badge and I think if there was like is something that a like reflection? that, I don't know. oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a oh. reflection on. Oh no, yeah, you're right. It's a hologram. Okay, yeah. yeah. So okay. It, or, or a hologram, reflection, whatever. <clears throat> if they had that stripe, I think it would look a lot better. It's not going to be there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I kind of assumed um, it was actually. I, I I think that you're right. I think that sort of two tone would be. But if it's, a, I mean, single stripe. I mean, it's it's certainly bold. Uniforms look good. I mean, um, we see uh, also one that has like a white division top. Uh, what? sitting at the table which is like the one on the, the left but yeah the whole top part is a different color which gives hope that there will be uh, other ones that are like different colors for the top piece yeah i had forgot um, about that one when they're they're interrogating Giorgio. yeah because that works you know white medical whatever um i could see that because there's you've got, so you got two primary colors at least yeah there is a shot later with uh it was very obvious that that was just a reflection or a hologram thing because she's standing in a different spot but but Stuart, why don't we go to my graphic about the evolution design see if we can you know, put it in front of the audience uh and here we have three uniforms in three periods of time 29th century 31st century and 33rd century the caveat being one is definitely starfleet one left the middle one is Time Cop Division Special Agent something. And on the right, it could either be Starfleet or Federation. We, we can't clarify yet. So there's a slight disconnect with how this is a direct. But that is the example of each we've been given. Uh, there's definite visual tie-ins. Like we said, we already talked about the relativity ones tying in with that upper part. Um, Daniels. <laughs> again, he's a special division for sure. Um, it's kind of the outlier here, but I mean... It's all, it's all we have, Stuart. It's all I could go with. The, co the color palette matches everything. I mean, you can see the evolution of the color palette. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't even mind that. I wouldn't even mind owning that uniform, I think. Like, it, it's not as good as Voyager's. There's, there's something bulky about the top. But I like the I like the top. I just I, I can't get on board with the rest because I would never be able to wear it and it look good. At, at least with, like... At least with something with, with like, a belt, it kind of takes away visually from any kind of paunch you might have i'm working on my paunch it's going to be gone soon hopefully but some things are not flattering you know and mm. but it's definitely it's definitely a callback to tmp uniform though but having the belt having the wrist thing there's definitely some tmp why why not but then let's take a look let's take a, take a detailed look at the admiral's uniform we've got two pictures here first is the main guy and he was heavily focused to point that you know we've got very very clear close-ups of his his rank his lapels, uh, the, the, the very, very crisp collar. They definitely look a lot more militaristic than a lot of Starfleet uniforms just because of the the uh, ap epaulets uh, on the shoulders and the, the whole stiff collar. I mean, TNG had the stiff collar, but it dipped down at the front, made it more casual. Unless you go to yesterday's Enterprise where it went right across. Again, looking more militaristic, that was the point. Um, I think that's a crisp, good look. I do like those kind of collars. So, but yeah, it definitely feels more military, um, just with the overall, um, and for some reason for me, Navy. Yeah. Just like a crisp Navy uniform, which I, I mean, Hey, space Navy. Um, but I definitely appreciate though. The rank is back on the, the collar, They're very close together, but not the end of the world. And he's probably a pretty high ranking guy. Cause he's got a lot of rank. He's got five pips and two lines. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, he, hey, they could... I mean, it just could be quite an important thing if they meet them. I would not be against him being the head of Starfleet. Because... That, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that I, I would certainly be wanting to meet Discovery if a ship from the past with a spore drive came in and said, hey, to our secret base in a in a magnetic nebula, I, w I, would, I would make a trip. I would say hi. <laughs> and since I recognize him from a movie franchise, he's actually a known actor. So therefore, I'm sure he's done other things as well. And he's got quite a good look. You know, I could buy him being head of Starfleet. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, so it could be it, his uniform could be the outlier here. It could be very different. That being said, we do see an admiral's a standard admiral's yes. uniform for Senatel. Let's jump to that um, as well. Without, they are different, um, more different they, than you think as well. Yeah. Um, so Senatel is missing the striping along the the upper part, um, and different obviously rank pips, and even different epaulets as far as the design goes. Um, so I know this was well a few years ago. It could be that it's an older, just a, the the next the last iteration of the uniform. I don't think they've done that though. Um, but you know, um, well, they they do feel distinctly different. As weird as that sounds. Having that weird okay, Admiral, right? Admiral has all these, all these triangle rank things. Bit weird. I don't see rank on the combat, which I believe there's meant to be, but I don't see any here. But Admiral could be outside that structure. Also, I didn't realize it was gold and then silver. I didn't realize that was the. Yeah. I don't yeah, like the slice really in it though, but um, you know, it doesn't too bad. Oh, the delta, the delta does get lost in it. Unfortunately, um, it probably should have been solid. As soon as I see that shape, I think Bajoran, unfortunately. Yes. Yes, 100%. I like it better with that extra red trim, but I, I can't imagine the art department would, would not... Say, well, one episode apart, not make the full uniform, like rush out the uniform for Cenotale, when that's a big moment, not include the red trim. So I'm hoping the red trim is a, like, fleet admiral, like, like you get more things. Because, I mean, that would make... Well, they're both admirals, but you can have higher rank admirals. I'm kind of hoping, you know, head of star fleet, even more colour, which would be a nice... Um, thing to say and maybe those like lines are like one is head of head of starfleet second is 10 year service record head of starfleet like he's even more head of starfleet but i was surprised how different they felt because sometimes it just it does feel like a, a guy's suit with with a red dog collar like it, it does need the extra red trim and just the it it doesn't it doesn't fit his neck as well i guess i know he's older seems to have a short neck but the, the admiral he just looks better in it I know Santal's dead. I get it, he's dead. Fine. <laughs> I won't hold that against him. But I think they look just better on the, the Admiral than the, the, the other guy. But I, I do think the other guy is more a the head of Starfleet special kind of... Or, or president of the Federation, if this is still the Federation. Absolutely. And we do see one tertiary uniform, um, which they cut to. It's a, a guy in a suit with glasses and a... And a, and a, and a, and a combat i think that's just temporal investigations with my gut reaction i know he he talks to giorgio um because also you've got you know temporal investigations and alternate universe like once you learn she's from the mirror universe like that's also something to be concerned about different time different universe so i i love the idea that like because you, you would think they could scan her and tell instantly different quantum signatures we've heard that before different yeah quantum resonance whatever the hell it's called and, and we know that she's having, she has a problem with bright light every time she enters a room so, I mean, surely the the cornea are different. So I, I would love to see her be pulled into her and be like, right, we're going to temple investigate the shit out of you. Because um, you are really an anomaly here, Miss, Miss Empress Giorgio. Um, that's just a guy in a suit. Quite a few new uniforms. I know this is obviously we're, we're, we're being teased, but I was kind of pleased with how much they showed us um, in the trailer. And it definitely makes me, for the first time, I think, beyond the, the, the overall, okay, I'll see what happens next week. Now I'm like, yes. Let that gets get to next week. I really want to see next week. Yeah, uh, the one thing I want to point out too, if you zoom in on the com badge, not that we get a good view of it uh, on the head of Starfleet guy, it's very different than <clears throat> Senatals. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just because we can't get a good view of it really, um, or just because it's it's a few years newer. Uh, but it looks like a different design, somewhat. It doesn't look like it's got the gold delta in there or the split. It looks very much. It's, its own thing like there's a delta there but it's a stylized delta <clears throat> and a raised delta so hmm. i mean it's hard to see it's very it's very reflective so yeah yeah we'll, we'll get a better look at it next week obviously yeah. and we'll talk about it when we see it a little bit more detailed so excellent um, um but yes Joe, would you say an overall pass yeah absolutely yes and i'm glad we got new uniforms i'm glad they put the effort in and and hey, in Vegas next year, if cosplayers are getting busy, we're going to see a ton, because we obviously haven't had one since Picard, so we'll see five new uniforms, hopefully, people walking around, uh, which is great. So guys, <clears throat> let us know in the comments what you thought about this uh, this new uniform. Are you looking forward to it? Did you notice anything we didn't? Let us know. Did you even catch and... them? Cause, exactly. You know, it went by pretty quick. 
And be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you've clicked the notif notification bell icon to all. It's very important because YouTube's supposed to notify you when we upload with a regular subscription, but doesn't. And even with the bell icon for all, sometimes it won't. But anyway, we do a lot of great content, a lot of scheduled stuff, and a lot of lives. So if you want to join those and be part of the community, by all means, make sure you're subscribed. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you go to those lives, do Super Chat. We absolutely rely on that that income, the joining the channel stuff, the Patreon, to allow us to make content for free for all of you. If a few of you give and, and help us out, you know, five bucks a month Patreon, it's not a lot, but it does mount up, then we can keep this content for all of you, as we have done for years now. Every new season, how many videos? I mean, dozens, and we love doing it. And again, these graphs and such, no one's on this, so we're happy to do it for you, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, tune in, have fun, help us out if you can, and just keep watching. That's right. So until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley. And I'm Connor Prince. Bye, guys.